didn't work and stuff like that so we're gonna have to continue to see what works try out new concepts and yeah so this is not any stretch of imagination this is not perfect yet um we're still working on getting better on in this game all right so let's cover three beaters all right a lot of says cover three beaters and it shows one play it's like yeah let's cover three beater one play all right, so last night, what we were working on a lot and we were working on getting better at was this one play right here. So we go ahead and go to, uh, I think it's another wide. Yep. And it's this concept right here. We, we were running this all last night. This beats cover three, it beats man coverage, and it beats cover four and beats cover two. So, like, we were trying out this route all late last night. We kind of messed around a little bit, put um, our triangle, uh, a square guy on a um out route that let me get you know beat man coverage a little bit more and we're just trying our best here to see what works and what doesn't work um but it's really good for just quick passes just hike the ball throw it hike it throw it hike it throw it quick ways to beat most coverages because it's hard to again be it's hard to stop that type of concept especially in madden with how defenses work it's hard to stop that uh, okay, so what is he running? He's running mid blitz. Okay, so last time we go when I get someone who ran mid blitz and the thing about mid blitz is and I'm not trying to dog anybody out for this, but I really think mid blitz is just a It's a funny concept against you know, that should not work in this game, but it somehow it somewhat works so it's something where if you play someone mid blitz, you gotta beat them. I feel like it's a go-to like man They're running mid blitz. You definitely gotta beat them if they're running mid blitz, but you know, I know some people actually do run this, like, realistically, and, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever, bro. All right, so we have route tech on Steve Smith's in order, so that's interesting. We're going to get him out of this mid blitz, though. That's definitely something you got to do right away is get him out of this mid blitz. Uh, and he, he's already out of it, bro. Look at that. He's already out of mid blitz. <laughs> he's already given up on mid blitz. That's what you like to see, man. That's what you like to see is that we have gotten him out of it so quickly. He's already out of it. All right, let's go ahead and put X on a little thing right here. We could even put him on a drag route if we wanted to. Like it even works out to put him on a drag route. And we want to the left hand side, check down to the halfback. Just simple, simple reads. That's why I love this uh, system we have going on right now. Uh, like I said, you know, I tried out this ebook a little bit, a uh, little bit different plays, and somewhat didn't work. Sometimes it did, but I definitely, I just love the simple simplicity of an offense that an offense can be. I think it's always a fun times. And he went, oh nope, not mid blitz. I thought that was mid blitz for a second. I thought he was going back to mid blitz, and I was like, bro. What? I do I have to keep teaching you this lesson, old man? Like, okay. Is that mid blitz? No, that's not mid blitz. Now he's just now just trying out different blitzes. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same concept I've been doing. So just simple concepts here outside on the outside here. And I need route tech on the outside. That's, oh, he dropped it, bro. Come on, Isaac. I need you to catch that ball, but that concept, I kind of want to run it with Steve Smith and though. Let me go ahead and change it. I'm going to change those two players up. I'm going to put Steve on the outside here, um, and I'm going to put Isaac on the other side. The reason why is because I want to have, um, I meant to put Steve here. I want to have route tech on that corner route. Um, let's put Tyree kill. I want uh the corner route to have route tech because it's gonna make it it's just a crisp little you know thing that's gonna be able to um hopefully get the first down. What is he using? Oh, that's easy. Oh, what was that, bro? Ha <laughs> ha! We had a tutty right there, but Sean Alexander got a weird animation. That was such a weird animation. I'm not even lie to you guys. That was the weirdest animation I've ever seen. Like he didn't catch the ball on the uh like normal like on the run like that. He caught it in a weird way. Right there though, he actually tried to use it that almost do a pick six right there. I almost do a pick six. That was very bad read by me. I should have threw the right hand side. I thought he was gonna use it the right hand side. So I figured, okay, I'll throw it to the left hand side, quick read, just to the left hand side. He actually used it that left hand side. 
if he was a little bit faster in a better position, he had a pick six right there. Definitely a mistake by me. Definitely a mistake by me. I uh, could have done a lot. Could have done a lot better for him, but it's cool. All right. So last night we worked on defense a little bit. Now some people were killing us on this. Some people were not. We were destroying a lot of people on this. Uh, was actually running man coverage, but not running man the way we always run man. Uh, running man to actually get some pressure. And yeah, so let's go ahead and switch and change up there. So pretty much coming out of typical man, switching to three three five wide, keeping all safeties and linebackers on the field, and just setting it up like this. So now my job here is to use her that tight end. So as you can see, my job is to use the tight end. Now the tight end runs to the right hand side, it's gonna be picked up by my safety. If he runs to the left hand side, it will be picked up by me. So my job is to just pick up that tight end and watch where he goes. And yeah. So if he goes to the left, right hand side, that's picked up by my other guy. A uh, left hand side, that's picked up by me. And we kind of go on and on there. But it looks like, and I didn't actually, I gotta remember every single play to switch to 335. Uh, okay. Now, who did you have a tight end? He has 88. Is that Evan uh, Ingram? I think that's Evan Ingram. Uh, yeah, so he has Evan Ingram. Um, at the moment, I don't think he has a fast card in the game. Like, that fast. He he is known for speed and being a vertical threat. But I don't know if he has that fast card a game at the moment. God, I messed up there. All right, I messed up there. Oh, man. Dang it. Okay. Messed up there. But it's one of those things where, yeah, I just, you, you can't mess up. Like that right there. I messed up my coverage. Ended up switching the play late. If you do that, players get out of line and you just instantly get destroyed. So, uh, it's, a, it's a really mixed bag when it comes to this. Okay. And we're going to have to come out in probably 46 here. Yeah, we'll probably come out in 46 and uh, cover a cover to invert. We'll probably do that here. But again, like I said, it's a work in progress game better on defense. Uh, but it's definitely something we're last live stream having. We did a lot of good things with it. So it's something I'm really interested in. I thought I got a text as I was like getting interception there. And I was like, what is happening, bro? Uh, Texans are re-signing uh, Hillard. Um, okay, cool. Got the ball to the four yard line now. I love that cover two invert because they go to the outsides. It's completely covered. Now, the only thing is you have to watch the run and you have to cover that middle. If you can do that, you can shut down a lot of plays in the red zone. Shout out to uh, Armani who went ahead and told me about that. All right. Like I said before, I'm going to run the same concept. I want to run this with uh, route tech, but with Steve Smith in on the left-hand side. Him having route tech should get him a crispier cut, which hopefully will help us out a lot. Now, his guys have acrobats and right-hand side medium KO. So that's actually something interesting. Um, what is he using? Oh, he's shading over top. Get it, boys. Get it. That was actually an amazing run by me. I like to I'd like to pat myself on the back for that run. That was actually a pretty good run by me. Ballsy run, definitely, because I could have fumbled it then. If I fumbled it there, he gets ball right back in the red zone. But so good run by me. Um, but he was using that. He is shading over top though, which is gonna be kind of a nuisance. Cause that means what we okay, he's right back in the blood and miss. Blow, come on, man. Get out of the mid blitz. It's, it's mid blitz is weird. Like it's not a good play. You can destroy mid blitz in a hundred different ways, but it's just a nuisance to go against. If that makes sense. It's not hard to beat. It's just a nuisance. It's like, really? You really thought you were going to beat me with uh, mid blitz? Uh, which way is he usering? Like, bro, if you're going to run mid blitz, I'm going to run cheesy stuff against you too. Now he's in the cover four. This guy is so weird and unpredictable. Like he twists his from a mid blitz, cover four, mid blitz, cover four. Let's see what he does here. There we go. 
Like, bro, we're going to destroy you on that. All right, let's get back to the same concept we were doing earlier this game. And that's going to be really perfecting this play right here. Again, it's such a simple play, such an easy play, but it's so, so good. Now, the thing about this play is, though, is that he is shading over top. So we're probably not going to be able to actually wait one second. Okay. He ran mid blitz, didn't he? He's a child. Okay. Anyway, what I was going to say is right there is that I don't know who he has on the blitz here. Or not blitz. I don't know who he has on the... Who does he have here? Going one-on-one. -on -one. He only has Acrobat. That's interesting. He only has Acrobat, and he's going to keep doing that stupid mid blitz. We're going to have to just keep running this crap against him until he just eventually goes, okay, I can't run mid blitz. Eventually, he'll be like, I can't run mid blitz. And he'll stop, but we're going to have to just program in this kid that he needs to stop running mid blitz. But anyway, what I was saying though, is that when he is running that, not mid blitz, but when he is running, he only has Acrobat on that deep pass. Now, Acrobat's a really good uh, ability, but I don't know if it's going to keep up with Isaac Bruce. I don't think it will. I think he dropped into another coverage. Did he drop into another coverage? Was that, that was not yet. Yeah, okay, I was about to say. That did not look like mid blitz on the play. That looked like he dropped into something else. Now this is mid blitz. This is definitely mid blitz. Um, hang on. Crossing route. Here we go. Wait, no, no, wait. I don't know what. Oh, I'm stupid. I never mind. I don't know what's going on here. I, yeah, I took an L there. I took the L there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to put my wide receiver on a deep pass on a crossing route, and it kept just streaking him. I don't know what was going on there by EA, but that's what I was trying to do, and it would not let me do that. Okay, whatever. Now it doesn't matter because now he has to, now the type of what he's playing with doesn't really matter. All right. Hmm. We'll go for it though. Alright, it's probably mid blitz, right? My guess is it's probably mid blitz he'll come out in. If you come out of mid blitz. No, he's not. Okay. Uh Alright. Okay. Whatever. I'll throw a pick there. Not really too mad about that. Oh, that sucks. Really got points before halftime, but it's okay. That stupid mid blitz. I don't know what's up with that mid blitz, bro. It's not good. It's just weird. It's like, it's something where you hold the ball too long. It's a really bad situation. But you can destroy it so easily if you throw it quickly. I just don't, I don't know. I, I hate playing games where I just have to hike the ball, throw it, hike the ball, throw it, hike the ball, throw it. Like we're trying to we're trying to work on some schemes here, bro. But it's alright. So that man coverage, he's actually is beating on me. He actually is beating my man coverage. Uh mainly because he's literally just running the ball. And if you don't correctly adjust to it as a player, you're gonna get destroyed. I have my defensive line all set up though. Let's go ahead and do this real fast. We gotta do this real fast. He's probably gonna quick hike me. There we go. There we go. That's, well, that's what we want. That's the look we want on it. That's the look we want on it. If we can get that look every single time, we're fine. Because he beat me on one of the man coverage routes. But that was mainly because I don't think I had it set up correctly. Okay. Now he's going to run the ball. Bro, 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 bro. I hate to tell you this. Your run's not going nowhere. You got one big run. That was cute. You think you had a chance, second chance? I gotta do this quick. All right, there we go. Oh wait, what am I? Oh, I'm using the running back. Oh, that's it. Wait, what? Kamadi. That's 99 overall, Antonio Kamadi. 
I said that's it, as that's going to be an interception. 99 overall, Antonio Camardi just got cooked. And that's with safety help. With safety help, he got cooked. 98 speed. I don't know what Randy Moss is. I guess he has 99 speed Randy Moss. I'm pretty sure 98 speed should not get cooked by 99 speed. That's ridiculous. That was actually ridiculous, EA. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, that's 99 man. 90, I think it's like 95 press with 99, 98 speed. He should not get cooked by anybody. Especially with safety help. Because the safety on the outside there was Eric Weddle with 97 speed. Like, that's 97 speed Eric Weddle. Why is he getting cooked? Why are they both getting cooked? And Eric Weddle was playing 40, 50 yards off of him. With his only assignment being that streak route. And I also have one step ahead on... What's his name? I have one step ahead on... um, Not Weddle. On... Kamadi. Uh, that's ridiculous. Get out of this mid blitz, bro. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you a lot again, man. I ain't gonna tell you again, bro. Get out of the stupid mid blitz, bro. You're not beating us if we get out of the mid blitz. All right, we're gonna switch out of man coverage. Uh, it's a good concept, but EA just doesn't want us to live. EA just doesn't want us to win. You know, there's a reason why I got rid of um. Oh, I got rid of. I moved Eric Allen down to number four, and I put in what's his? Name? I put in uh, Kamadi because of the fact that he kept getting beat. He kept getting beat on uh, those plays, so I went ahead and switched it up, and apparently didn't matter. Yeah, you're not gonna beat that. If you run mid blitz, you're not gonna beat that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro, but you're gonna have to learn a new defensive setup. If you're just gonna run mid blitz and different man coverage blitzes, you're gonna get destroyed. Uh, now this game is so random and crazy that, you know, anything can get destroyed, but still though, you're going to have to switch up to a zone coverage or at least one man with uh, man up too deep, switch some things around. So that sucks. That definitely sucks. What just happened uh, on Kamadi and have being a brand new ultimate legend, a brand new limited time card. It really sucks even more because I expected him. What is Randy Moss's speed? I just want to see his speed. Because Kamadi has 98 speed. Randy Moss has 98 speed. 98 speed Moss just destroyed 98 speed Kamadi. 98 speed. What's his man? Um, 99 man, 99. 99 press. With one step ahead. 99 man, 99 zone, 98 speed, 99 press. Just destroyed by a 98 speed player with not 99 release. Make that make sense. And not only that, he beat my safety who has 97 speed. And had 40 yards off of him. Make that make sense, EA. I don't get it. I hope this guy stays at the end of the game so we can watch that playback. I mean, I have it on recording, so it's not a big deal, but I want to watch that playback. I want to see what happens. Like, how? How? And he has one step ahead. It's not like my guy doesn't have one step ahead. He has one step ahead. He has an ability that lets him be able to correctly get in front of his guy. I'm going to check after this play. What does Randy Moss have? Does Randy Moss have any ability? He better have the ability that says wins press coverage every single play. I'm checking after this play. Okay, hang on. He has indoor baller. He has indoor baller as his only ability. He has two abilities on offense and one being Randy, Randy Moss, indoor baller. Reduce zone objectives when indoor state in dome stadiums. He doesn't have 
any type of ability that would give him that. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, hang on. He has no ability that would let him beat Kamadi on a one-on-one -on -one route going deep. This is what I say. This game is so random. This is what I mean. This game is so random. There is no actual breakdown in this game and how anything actually matters. And if you want to say thresholds, Kamadi hits every threshold you can have. Except for 99 speed. And yeah, I don't have 99 speed on Kamadi, but still. But Randy Moss has 98 speed. So step for step, he should have very similar. And I don't know what Randy Moss has released wise. I think Randy Moss released like 95. Oh man, man. This is what this game is kills you with. It's like, it's such a random. GG on that. Oh, man. I get man coverage is definitely not OP, right? It's definitely not uh, unbreakable. And that wasn't on a long drive either. If that was a long drive, I'd understand. Well, Kamadi's tired. Kamadi has been playing the whole entire drive. You know, he's just not... He's not doing good because he's been playing the whole drive. That was like a couple plays into the drive. As we just missed a pick right there. That was a couple plays into a drive. And he messes up like that. And that's not even on Kamadi, man. That's just a random fluke duke that happens with the A sports. Which sucks. Man. Man. Man, man. All right. Two minute one. We gotta get a stop here, guys. We gotta get a stop here. My energy is a little lower because um, you know, fluke duke happens. But it's whatever, cause this guy's still not good. He's still trash. We're good. I do like one step ahead though. I'll definitely say one step ahead is one of my favorite abilities. It used to be man KO in every single category, but it has so much change because man KO is only good for what? Medium route KO, small uh short route or deep route. You had to have you had to choose two of the three. With this one step. It costs a little bit more ability points than uh, those two combined, but it's it's just so it's so good. It's so freaking good. I love it. I definitely love it. It gives you so much abilities. I love it. Watch him one a, watch him one the uh, screen pass again. I feel like he's going to. Like he has to, right? Could it worked last time? Oh, he's gonna run the ball again, isn't he? Nope, no run. Wow, my guy was right on there too. Right on him too. Just couldn't get it. All right. Man. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, I really do hate this game. Right now. Let me use a him. All right, let's get the stop here. He's running a lot of clock off. I mean, I know he doesn't want me to have the ball back and a chance, but I mean, he's running a excessive amount of clock off here. Like, mm, I'm interested. I'm interested in coming out in a cover two invert, but it's one of those things where I just don't trust it. I don't trust cover two invert in this situation. Because I think right now he's destined to score. Right? He's destined to score in this, on this drive. I have to figure out a way to stop that. And now my stream is... What? Now my stream is dropping frames? Why is my stream dropping frames? Oh, no. Alright, we're good now. Crap. Is he gonna, he's not going to run the ball, is he? Oh, no. We're not good again. I messed up there. I took the L there. I'm... Freaking stream is dropping frames, bro. It messed me up. I had a guy going right for the quarterback, and I pulled him off because I'm warming up my stream. 
Oh, no. Okay. This has to be a run, right? Yeah, I don't know why my stream is dropping frames. He got that too, bro. I'm so worried about my stream. I'm not even paying attention to the game. I'm not even paying attention to the game. And this little kid just freaking scored on me. He's going for two? What the heck? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised he's going for two, but... Hmm. What is he doing here? Out of bounds. Definitely out of bounds. Definitely out of bounds. Not even close to being in bounds. Well, I lost this game because I'm literally worrying about my stream for some reason losing frames. I can't believe I lost this game because of this freaking stream just randomly dropped frames on the final game. The final play of the game and my stream just completely cuts out. Doing awful. Are you kidding me, bro? I lost a game to a freaking bum because my stream died on the last drive of the game. Oh, I hate this game so much. Mm. I'm trying to not be negative, though. It's hard to not be negative, though. This game makes you negative, I feel like. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm going to have to restart my stream because I think my stream is just literally... Yeah, it's it's doing so bad right now. This little boy is going to come out and man, and just made up three deep. He's scared. Whatever. He got the bull crap win. I don't care. 